Hello and welcome to the demonstration video of the SimCast Banner Text Editor, uh, which is used in SimCast Studio for banner scrolling text. Uh, the banner text may be in other versions of SimCast in the future, but at present it is only in the SimCast Studio version. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a XML file just to give some inside information of how it works and what happens underneath the hood. The banner text, as you will see in the banner text in SimCast Studio video, tutorial video on banner text, you will see is basically like an RSS feed. And you can use an RSS feed uh, using a URL or you can use a physical file. So I'm going to open a file here with Notepad. Just to give you a look at inside it. Okay, so let's just open this up. So in this particular case, when it's created with the banner text, we create what we call a channel, an item. In SimCast's version, an ID number just gives us a little bit more precision on deleting records that we have an ID to represent this, just in case the title is duplicated. And the title is your headline. Okay, so each title is an added scrolling headline. They all become one, like one string of concatenated text. You may see in RSS feeds from news companies, etc. you may see additional elements. For example, they'll have one like link, description. They're not necessary, so there's no need for us to put them in. They will work equally as good. Okay, so now let's go to SimCast Banner Text Editor. I'll open it up here from the desktop. Let's just check and see if there's an upgrade there. We will load the file, my test from the desktop, and that's pretty much what we were looking at. So when we highlight it, it becomes like a, a darker orange. And when we right click, we get a menu. The menu allows us to add a new headline, to edit the selected headline, or to delete the selected headline. So in this case, we'll click edit. And we'll just type in, we, sorry, <laughs> have added more text. Oops. Okay, so we have added more text. Is there edit if you like? We click edit headline and we see it disappears. But before we go back to the file, we'll click add a new headline. And here I have added a new headline. I'm using the word headline here from simplicity. It's just banner text. It could be related to anything. It kind of works in the principle of headlines. So that's why I use the terminology headlines. That may not be the case. Okay, so let's just close this down and go back to the my test file because that's the file that we opened. Uh, this time I'm gonna open it up in the uh, WordPad Gives you a little bit more of an insight to us. So we can see here item one is we, we've added in the additional text and the added. We have added more text. And then going down to a new ID by three, here I have added, added a new headline. Okay, so that's what goes on underneath the hood. So technically speaking, you could, for example, do something like this if you were not using the editor. You could kind of create a new item, as simple as this. Basically, as we see it all here, sorry. And then we could do something like this. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Something like this. And in here, we can create a new ID, uh, which would be for a new text. So just to speed up things. We could create that as four. And in the title, we could put in something here like, hello from the file. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, hello from the file. So let me just make sure I've got everything in here. Uh, I've got an idea of four. Yes, my title is closed off correctly and my item is closed off correctly and we're still within the channel 
So if you actually look at this, you can see this is like the hierarchy, so to speak. And then you've got your each item under that channel. And then under the item, you've got your ID and your title. So each item exists in the channel, and each item has an ID and a title. OK. Let's go back to the editor. Do I want to save this? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not sure if that's sold, actually, in the correct format. The correct format should be XML. If there's an issue with this, it's because it did not save in XML. OK, it is shown as XML. Incidentally, make sure if you use a notepad that it doesn't save as TXT, just add after the name, for example, myfile.xml, if you're going to do that, but not really necessary without the editor. So you can see hello here from the file. OK, now let's do something completely different. Now that we've explained how, what goes on underneath, this is information, this is knowledge. It, just so you understand what goes on, you don't need to do this. You now have got Simcast Banner Editor. And in the Banner Editor, from the word go, you can create a new file. We can call it My Next Show. OK, you're going to do a show about something. And in here, you want to have text for your banner. You choose the location. In this case, we'll do the desktop. OK, by default, it puts in the first line of text for you, just to show you something has happened. And as it says, this is your first headline, which you can edit by selecting, as in turning it to that color orange. I'm going to right -click the, and <clears throat> click the right mouse button, and the menu will appear. And here, we will add a new headline. And we'll just write in maybe second news story. OK? And we we'll click Add Headline. And there we go. That's it. This is how you use the banner. So we're creating a file. The specific file in question is what we use to bring in as our banner text. Each of these so-called headlines are the overall scrolling text. So if you attend these together, it would start scrolling from here. Behind that word appear dot would be second news story, and so on, and so on, and so on. It just lets you add and remove pieces of information that you want to scroll as one long piece of text. If your text is too short, it's going to be static. It needs an X amount of words for it to be able to scroll. OK? So that's pretty much it. That's how we scroll the banner text. So please do watch the tutorial video in Simcast Studio on how to use banner text. This video is on how you can create files yourself with a free software here called Simcast Banner Editor um, without having to be knowledgeable or IT related and creating XML files, which was just really for information that I discussed there. Just so you understand what you're connecting to, if you put in a URL to a news company's RSS feed or some, somebody's RSS feed that you're going to scroll as text, you can be an idea of what you're actually connecting to, what information you're pulling down, and what information is actually being used. And from the RSS feed, the only headline that's being used is the one named, or the elements being used is the one named title. Okay? So once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your time. www.simcast.eu is the website. Bye now.